Uh oh. I don't know where the school bell is. Here it is. Hello. Welcome back to school. Um, we are at the schoolhouse. I'm going to do some practicing a little bit. Um, I have a little bit of a reading assignment too, but I might do that later. I am just really tired. I've been tired all day. In fact, I have not had a day to myself where I didn't have to do anything. Every day I've either had meetings or appointments, all that good stuff. And today I would have had a day to myself, but I had to get the cat cat food because she had no cat food. But now she has cat food. Okay, um, I'm at the Clavier or Clevinova, whatever you want to call this thing. It's not a piano, and it's not an organ. <laughs> so I'm going to put you here. I don't know what kind of view you got. Um, yeah. Okay, I think that should work. Um, I'm going to have music here. I'm just going to probably run through the stuff I ran through before. Um, I need to still figure out how it went. I can add the new stuff. Oh, um, I have all my practice tools, I think. And my metronome chart. I don't know why I have that, but I have that. Usually that's kept with the metronome. And then I have my 12 commandments of practice. Which, maybe I'll go over that sometime with you guys. And then I have my Schmidt book, which I don't plan on doing any finger stuff because I am just super tired. Oh, yesterday when I was doing my, or after I did my four hours of practicing, um, I started to write out the chords for that descending pass for the B section of the um, Takata. So I was working on that while everybody else was working on chord music. Well, I was also singing, but I kind of have the thing memorized, certain parts of it memorized. Um, and then another neat thing that I recently just bought, I don't know how or whatever. Oh, there's a um, piano teacher, oh, I should, piano professor, I'm subscribed to, and I'll get her weekly, or whenever she posts, like, newsletters or something, and one of the things that she had recommended was this, uh, effective piano practicing, or it could just be effective practicing, um, so I bought this, which is kind of like a fold-out chart thing. It's got a bunch of... I don't like how it's laid out. It's too big and chunky for me, <laughs> considering all the information that's on it. It's just too big and chunky. Um, but then I also saw that this... Uh, who's the author? Nancy... O'Neill? I can't read that. Let me see if this is better. Oh, Nancy O'Neill. Nancy O'Neill Be Beth. Burr? Beth? I can't read it. <laughs> Either way, I'll have information in the description. But she also wrote a book. Um, and you could type in, like, effective piano practice or effective practicing. Um, and she's got a couple YouTubes, too. Um, I'll put her uh, YouTube thing in the description, and you can kind of check that out. But I bought that. I, I saw that as a recommendation. I thought, well, what the heck? Um, 
I think the book was like, I don't know, $13 or $17 and the chart was like 7 or $8. I thought, might as well, might learn something new. Um, and it kind of, you know, goes along with other weird things that I like to collect. Um, and I'm always trying to think of different ways of practicing stuff. Uh, like the thing with the fingering that I was having issues with. Um, let me think here. Landing on that four, or not landing on the four. Um, but yeah, um, doing those with rhythms. And the funny thing with, with rhythms, we did rhythms and choir. <laughs> yesterday which is kind of weird because usually you don't think of vocal people doing rhythms but she pulled out rhythms um we're doing a oh Vivaldi piece okay that's the wrong piece but oh well um tempo I'm just gonna Drop this. We'll do seventy. What time is it? I don't have my clock. I did reset this thing. Let me see here if I can flip this up. That's kind of a funny story too. This clock has been dead for literally probably over a month and nobody told me that it was dead. And I just changed the battery about, you know, about five o'clock, a little bit after five. So, well, really that clock's is for something, but either way, it's like for 25-ish. Um, so, I don't know how much I'll do, but we'll see what we can get done. Okay. Um... <laughs> on that. right and you don't even know that you're playing it right um starting to meow again. Cat, you can go sit on uh, mommy's chair.
Better. Let me try this again. tempo not moving because <laughs> I don't know how to work my metronome on this thing okay 85 that was a 70 this is a 85 <laughs> that it's really solid and just to correct those errors. starting into I think we're starting to get into some dangerous territory I'm just curious what my tempo is on this that I'd like to be on I established a long time ago in a world far okay so that's 126 just out of curiosity what is 126 towards okay so i think we let me try a hundred you know you can't do 105 well let me delete 
tense in that muscle. I don't know why it's all tense, but it's really tense. <laughs> Let's drop it to 90. subject. thing is I can kind of see the B flat. light okay I have it set to a light before I had it on a medium um one.
watching I'm sure at least I can notch these up by regular increments I go up by one click at a time I'm gonna be here forever and I don't want to be here forever um we're at about 90 all right well ma move it up into 92 we're in the section of multiples of four <laughs> whatever that means no um the numbers are written in different multiples the lower numbers are written in two the middle numbers are written in three like multiples of three and then the middle numbers a bulk of the numbers are written in multiples of four and then it goes into multiples of six and then lastly there's multiples of eight there's some mathematical reason behind it, but I don't know what. I don't know what it is. muscles under my thumb are achy like they don't hurt but they just ache I think it could just be the position I'm sitting at I'm a little bit lower than I would normally be um okay then the next one is a multiple of six so or a multiple of four so that would go up to 96 Eyeball's been achy all day. Thank you. 
like this finger needs to relax more. This finger doesn't do it. It's not as bad. It's the, I don't know. Left hand has weird issues with it. number after 96 my head is starting to hurt after 96 we have 100 which is entering into the uncomfortable zone we need to go up not down <laughs> the number started to go down <laughs> okay 100 for oh my neck something else. Three and four and... Well, you ended on the right note. 
notes. You began on the right notes. <laughs> issues with getting to that note. I can't see my E flat. <laughs> Is the next number because zero and four are four yes 104 108 112 oh my gosh I don't even know if I'm gonna go up to 112 104 is the next number we are working we are climbing high <laughs> um <laughs> Because like once I get into these faster tempos, I can't look. Like I don't know, it like psychs me out to look, but I find it easier almost to just focus on the feeling of where my fingers are going rather than looking. Because it's just weird looking. <laughs> Three and four and one. <laughs> Where's my? Oh. I was gonna say I could get the bench that actually goes with this, but I really don't want to. <laughs> Okay, I don't know, I 
I've got issues a whole bunch, but I need to keep these fingers from lifting too high because they're lifting high. Oh, goes up to 108. very forced. things. I don't know why. Three and four and...
feel comfy with that one. So that's at 108. Now we're getting into some dangerous territory. 112. Granted, it's only a few bars, but... notes. I'm thinking about my pinky. Don't think about the pinky. Three and four. <laughs> struck a second. Somewhere around there you struck a second. Flat.
higher numbers. I'm actually going to drop it down to 104. Just so I don't kill myself. 3 and 4 and... Ugh. Car alarm is going off. 3 me grow out almost um whereas the other tempo I was more at like that grippy point like if you're hanging off a rock or something um or if you're like hanging off an, your edge of a table I don't know why you'd be hanging off the edge of your table <laughs> uh, um but yeah Okay, um, back to this Takata. Finger, finger three and one. One fourteen, no, one sixteen. These are high numbers. Three and four and one. <laughs> Thank you. 
focus now. but I'd like to have a water right now. soon uh so that's at 116 uh the next number mm, 120 after 120 there's a line uh-oh that means we're getting into some really dangerous territory 120 And four and one. on that grippy part again but like the, the fingers are more um they have to be more rigid 
but the hand and the knuckles, everything else have to be loose behind the metacarpal phalangeal joint. Oops, wrong fingering. Wrong notes, I should say. And four and one. This might be my cutoff. One twenty, three and four and. some really low tempo 96 about moving the metronome down I know it should be there I was talking about moving the metronome down and my hand just like we started to go to the left like whoa that's not what we want down in number not the hand okay year 70 which is where we started this whole project
leaving out one note. <laughs> to look at the other section oh my gosh it's been an hour <laughs> that sucks let me look here this is your standard let you know numbers I can actually zoom in on that Okay, so we started at 70, which unfortunately 69 is the closest to 70 we can get. We started at 70, we'll say 69. We went all the way down to 120. <laughs> That's a lot of numbers to cover. Um, I won't be doing tempo thing with the whatever section I've got to work on next. The chords. I started writing them out. I don't know if they're all written out. But that's what I wrote out in choir. I don't know why this isn't focusing. It looks like it's not focusing. That's weird that it's not focusing. Oh, my hand is in the way. Sorry. Okay. There. That looks a little bit better. So that's mostly... This is actually... With that 5, 7. Roman numeral 5 and then a 7. That is... Going into the new stuff that I worked on... Last time... Right, this is the five seven. Is I can't like do all this. Okay, here, this is the five seven. So, this is the next line of music at measure 31. This is that chord that I wrote way there. So I have to finish writing out this line of music and finish analyzing it to figure out what's going on. But I can do that later. Um, but I'm just going to run th run through it and see if I remember anything of what I'm supposed to be doing. Um... So let me just see here if I can remember the five and the one. And hopefully the rest of it will just kind of fall into place. Now, I'm in G minor. Okay. So let's set our tempo at 60 for now. That's for 
for two counts. measure uh, which has a dominant uh oh I don't know if it's a soul or a me that's not good I have written down that it's a soul. And the score, I gotta move the paper. The score also has a soul. So, I have to play a soul. Okay, so starting at that measure again. stuff in this section. I gotta figure out what the notes are. Um, four and I think. and the left hand on this separately again you have a sharp to remind you that the E needs to be raised so we have two beats of five and then we go to a six seven which is one of the E natural which I never understood what that was now I know okay so we got a five we're just doing right here and on a G. No, it's on an A.
that a B natural? Yeah. That's right either. I really need to get this written out. Alright. two G's. Well, maybe there's two G's. Tell me if I played that right. <laughs>
that together before I fall asleep. <laughs> something and I can't put my finger on it. Something's wrong, something's wrong. It's a piece of choral music. The words are something like, let all the people praise, uh, let all the people praise God or praise something. <clears throat> oh my gosh, it's going to bother me. Just to make sure it's not a fluke. Put the first section with the second section, or the first line with the second line.
Do I want to make an attempt of breaking it up? Um, let me do... A little bit of memory solidification of the chords. I'm just randomly guessing at numbers. 76. some giggles see what happens three Oh, you need to start on a five. That's what happened. You started on a one. Let's do one note per click, except I don't want to do it this low because I won't be able to concentrate that well. Do 81 note per click.
again. Make it better than what it was. Better than that. Three and dominant I think my brain is getting tired three and four and
randomly picking a higher number. 104. tired I'm getting warm I don't have the air conditioner on and it's getting really warm and my brain is just turning into mush um I plan on going in tomorrow I need to review that hymn I like to review the hymn in case I'm able to play it for the or I mean accompany the congregation <laughs> not that I'm playing for the group accompany the congregation I think that'd be a nice practical application to everything I'm learning um and then I'll probably work more on the second page of the second section of the card and I don't know we'll see what tomorrow holds but I hope to get in in the morning uh so if you want to like, share, and subscribe. Oh, let me see what time it is. Okay, so it's about an hour and a half. Is good, I guess. Um, yeah. Well, yesterday I did do about four hours. <laughs> I don't know what came over me. I guess the spirit of music or something? Or the spirit of practice? I don't know. Anyways, we're going to like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget, ring the notification bell for all notifications.